Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lastly, we were talking about the uh, labeling images and we showed uh, how to use label image uh, application. And today I will talk about a trick and easy way, which is uh, you don't need to label your images uh, if you are lucky. Why you are lucky, I will tell it. And let's make a summary quickly. Lastly, we have some many images in here. I just put some six and how to label them in here I think if I'm not wrong the labels okay this one like this we need to label but uh, there are some uh, websites like open images uh, which is the most famous one and very useful one in this uh, data set uh, they already have 600 categories which means 600 classes and any objects you want to detect you want to train and you don't have its models and if your target object inside the 600 categories 600 classes then you can easily get the uh, training images and also its labels from this website and you can use it in your own this is very useful that's why let's uh, let me check first of all let me try to explain you then I will show how to download uh, in here the uh, explore part of the website and better make it detection instead of segmentation because we are we are focusing on the detection part and here uh, it's just uh, chosen by uh, sea turtle as a category then it's, that's why coming here turtle and you see in here they are labeling many images and showing us how it uh, looks like first of all uh, for example in here you can choose your categories in here 600 categories uh, for example lastly we were talking about zebra right and we don't need to label it and in here already they labeled it and giving us or any things in here you can choose banjo uh, as you can see even uh, most of uh, many many objects the common objects in the world you can you find here I think so and that's why first of all for example you have an object and check in here it exists or not this is the first step you need to do if it exists then you are the lucky you can get the training data set okay and in here as a target uh, because I want to train these objects also to show you I will choose dolphin and in here the dolphin they already labeled and i will use this to train and but how to download let's back uh, to open images data set page and in this main page you are clicking download part and here is the some uh, versions they already uh, they all they already giving us and here i will use uh, version 4 I'm I always choose the previous ones also they uh, making some collaboration seems like 51 uh, they are making some application to easily install uh, you can also check them but I will show you the most easiest one for example in here they have class of 600 and we are focusing on the dolphin right first of all in here we need boxes uh, the label to label the images and we will interested with this train part not the validation part now and meta class names also because why we need this i will show you also just first step you need to download this by clicking train since it's 1.1 gigabyte i will not install it uh, i will not download it i already downloaded and class names this is more easier this just including that 600 class okay this is the first step you need to do uh, downloading these two files and I already downloaded the other step in here their github page and how this is this is showing you how to download from their uh, Amazon server first of all you need to install AWS AWS and how to install it it's easy just to the apt install AWS you can install it then uh, after that uh, 
in here as I said again I already downloaded these two files before I showed how they looks like first of all let's open this since opening is little take long time I already opened in here this is the file train annotation box what this file has uh, since this is a huge file, big file size as a size, what it is including? It's including every images which they are talking about in here. Uh, let's check. For example, in here, uh, what 15 uh, million boxes they have. In here, they all have those images in here with the label now. And they are giving us the x minimum x maximum this is coordinates and y minimum y maximum we will not need these things because we working little differently i will talk how to changing them uh, here is the image id for example let's choose any images let's copy this one i copied the just the image id and how to download it i'm going to do their how to download images github page and they are showing us like this and Let's try before I already try little. Just uh, change the image ID name in here. Okay, just copy paste. Let's see how the image looks like. I will. I'm also showing it where to download that image in here. I'm entering that website, uh, that folder, and here that image how it looks like. I don't know which object, which class this is, but how it looks like. Okay. So I said this is this uh, annotation box CSV file has all the images they have and all the uh, annotations, which means yeah, the coordinate of the target image. Okay. What is next? Next is uh, CSV file. What does this mean? Because I will use it also. Okay. This just has the 600 uh, classes. Let's see. Okay. 600, 1, 600. Yeah. Maybe one more, I don't know, they added. Okay, this uh, showing you, okay, for example, dolphin. Let's find dolphin here, yeah. Dolphin, yeah, we see this as a word, but how uh, this open images understanding in their side? This is the their code. This is the dolphin. Uh, and if we back to here and we searching that label, we will find, okay, for example, this image, he is a dolphin. Let's check it out. And pasting. Is it just I'm doing this to show you. Is it really a dolphin or not? And it will copy it to here. Yeah, as you can see, it's a dolphin. And also one more thing I need to talk in here. This X minus X max and Y minus Y max. Uh, in the previous video, I said to you what this, uh, what, how we label YOLO. Uh, we need to give the middle point of the target rectangle. And also we need to give the width and the height. As you can see, these are not those ones. So we need to convert our uh, format, these values. How to do that? I already do, did that in my code. I will share in my GitHub this code you, so you can easily try basically uh, for example middle x of the target rectangle i'm uh, making it in here just uh, copying the uh, for example minimum x and maximum x then the average give us the middle midpoint x or you don't need to much take care of this just uh, copy paste and use what does this code do this code actually does that uh, uh, for example i choose dolphin right and I put the uh, code off from the class description file in here, this code. I just copy paste here, this one. And I just give the path of the other train annotation box CSV file and nothing else. Then it's just downloading all the uh, images and also converting how it's converting. Uh, to the labels, I mean annotation part, also making labeling and give will give us the txt file of that uh, target images. And this will do at all. Uh, here is the some target folders, which I already defined lay for labels and for images. 
like that let's try and you understand more easily but better first of all cleaning this labels file already clean and also images file that is images this one yeah let's clean this one okay then let's starting the code this will take long time by the way i will not maybe i will cut the video uh, in this part then i will continue because this will take really long time because approximately for each category each classes they have uh, averagely 1000 images and downloading at all will take really long time so uh, maybe in three hours four hours you need to wait yeah uh, first of all for example they are now starting to downloading and also started to labeling let's see here is the labels for example this file let's copy not to forget and open this file and let's go to the images part as you can see it started download which one that one yeah, this one okay this dolphin is already labeled in here and for example coming more maybe this is just one not good let's choose the multiple dolphin for example this one and let's check the training part the same name b927 yeah this one as you can see in here if the image has multiple targets for example one so to one two three four five and here four it's one more added i think because yeah four five yeah at all the same category that's why zero at all starting with zero because my classes dot names which is the target image name only one for now because i will train just for dolphin now only one category that's why i start with the zero index and these are the uh, annotation of the for each dolphins yeah if you can check this first of all this is the if this is if you virtually making a rectangle here this is the middle point then middle x middle y and width and height accordingly if you curious about what these numbers means maybe you can check the previous video again yeah it started the downloading and labeling in here i will cut the video in here and maybe after downloading done i will open again then we can uh, see the results yeah okay my downloading is done and labeling also done uh, these two images uh, this folder is now uh, full of dolphin pictures you can check and this labels also has the full of the annotation uh, txt files of the do belongs to those dolphins and both has if you can you check uh, 886 images at all and accordingly they have also same number of the uh, annotation files uh, let me uh, quickly first again updating the how to download uh, first of all you need you are detecting the in here exploring part the your image is, is exist or not then you downloading csv files then you are uh, checking your target Im target images target objects you are copying this um, uh, uh, f format code format of have open images understanding then you are copying that code to here in my code then you are specifying in here where to download images first uh, mine is in this uh, directory you are also copying in here to your directory don't touching here and also you are choosing your labels directory where to uh, creating your annotation files what to uh, also one more you are giving the train annotation box csv files to here then this code will download until finish your until finish your uh, process done then you will get the files as i get uh, in the next video i will show now until now the difficult part done just the easiest part left in the next video i will show how to train these 
with these two files and with the uh, we are creating a YOLO detection model I will show in the next video as I said again I will show, uh, share this one also in the my in my github uh, you can directly copy from there uh, okay this video a little longer sorry then see you in the next videos